other things I'd like to talk about is the, the role that my preamp plays in my basses. I was one of the first people to start doing active circuits in bass guitars. Alembic was probably the first. But I started using active tone circuits as early as 1979. And um, my circuit, unlike most everybody else, most everybody else does a three band treble, mid, and bass circuit. And it both boosts and it cuts. I do a two band and only treble boost and bass boost. And let me explain. My circuit is made from a transistor called an FET, a FET. And FETs are to transistors what tubes are. They're the warmest sound with the most character. All the circuits that boost and cut are uh, what's called op amp circuits. And every time I have tried to make an op amp circuit, it, I've never been happy with the sound. So I stay committed to a two band treble bass boost only. And I have a very special sound due to my preamp for 35, 35 years. I've had constant feedback from my players about how much engineers in the recording studios love my preamp, how front of house uh, guys in, in uh, concerts love the sound of my preamp. And it's very hard to get a bad sound out of it. No matter where you set the knobs, you sound great. And one of the problems with three bands is when you start cutting or boosting mid-range, you can really do a lot to take your sound down. And so rather than that, uh, we stay with the two band. On our Will Lee model and the single cut, we have a mid-boost, but it's very specific to a specific choice of two frequencies, 800 hertz or 500 hertz. Uh, and so my bases are known for what we call plug and play. You don't have to, no matter where you set it, everybody gets a great sound and we're always getting compliments about our preamp. Thank you.